Hello Imogen, hello Josh. Granny's back um, and I've got a picture book for you this time and I think Josh will like this one particularly. It's called Up, Up and Away and it's beautifully illustrated. Can you see? Up, Up and Away and I think it might be about planets. What do you think? Orson was the kind of boy who loved to make things. Here he is. Look, can you see? He's making all sorts of things. And today he was going to make something extraordinary. Can you guess what it is? He's going to make a planet. It's going to be his greatest challenge yet. Orson, being an organised fellow, first gathered together everything he was going to need. A cup full of rocks, a splosh of water, a few chunks of metal, and since everyone knows that you need lots of empty space for a planet, he gathered as much nothingness as he could. Here's all the things that he needs. Now all he needed was a Big Bang, which turned out to be much easier to find than Orson had imagined. What do you think you can use to make a Big Bang? Imogen likes doing this. Balloons! Boom! There it was, a tiny planet with rings around it, right there, swirling round his bedroom. Orson loved his planet, but his planet didn't look very happy. It seemed to Orson that building a planet was the easy bit. Looking after it, well, that was a different matter altogether. He tried to cheer it up, but it still looked under the weather. Look, he's trying to cheer it up, taking it to the cinema, I think. Bit strange. Orson needed some help, so he headed off to his favourite place and found every book on planets. Where do you think he went? I think that might be a library. He read all through the night. So every day, Orson fed it, dusted its craters and tidied its oceans. And it worked. His planet seemed happy. You see what he's doing? Dusting, watering and everything. And it began to grow. Each morning it was a little bigger. Soon it had moons. Oh! You see moons? Wow. And the more Orson cared for his planet, the bigger and happier it became. And that was when things started to get a little tricky. His planet seemed to attract all sorts of things. First, it was just a few spoons and the odd unicycle. But soon, everything wanted to join in. You see, Orson hadn't realised that the bigger planets get the more things get stuck to them. Look, all those things stuck to the planet. That night, Orson went to bed feeling as sad as his planet. The next morning, Orson realised he'd have to do something brave. His planet didn't belong with him. His planet belonged among the stars up there in the night sky and although it was hard also knew that he was doing the right thing you see sometimes you have to let go of the things you love the most there he is letting go of his planet but Orson wasn't sad for long because Orson is a boy who loves to make things and another idea had just landed in his head. There he is, 
with another idea. Who knows what that one is? And that's the end. Hope you enjoyed that story. Bye for now.